ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Tato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Against the Storm. So, Against the Storm is a city builder, colony sim type game. Uh, this is the demo at the moment, and um, the story for this one is a little bit peculiar. Anyway, there is this perpetual storm that is going on uh, everywhere, with the exception of, uh, of, of, of this one tower, and in that tower, a, uh, a queen reigns and is the queen that is uh, that is in charge of everything and uh, we the character of, of us has been sent out into the wilderness in order to collect resources and explore uh, fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation and unlock new buildings uh, whereas if we if we rack up uh, impatience then um, bad things bad things happen. It is it is literally that simple. Okay, Queen's Envoy. Uh, your renown grows, Viceroy. The Crown has sent me to award you with a blueprint from the Obsidian Library. Choose wisely. All right, a lot of choice that I'm being given here, uh, but uh, but there we go. Anyway, um, unfortunately, given that this is uh, currently, I guess, early access, demo, whatever, uh, there is uh, there is no uh, there is no real. There is no real save system, which is uh, a little bit of a problem, and uh, I also have no idea how long the uh, the, the the game is going to go for. But uh, but anyway, that's fine. All right, let's um let's let's see what we've got in store. Oh yeah, the other thing that I was going to say, uh, there's no way to skip the tutorial, unfortunately. Uh, right, so we are going to build a we're going to build a lumber camp right now, and then we're going to chat about some of the interesting mechanics in this game. Uh, we're going to build a lumber camp right about here, I think. Uh, and I know for a fact that we're going to need to build a second one in uh, in just a second, but that is okay. Uh, we have our little makeshift campfire thing, hearth around here, uh, and that's and that's fine. However, something that you will notice up in the top left-hand corner is, uh, is the people who currently inhabit our camp. We have three types of people. Uh, we have humans, we have beavers, and we have lizard people. Yes, that's right. Mark Zuckerberg himself is is in our is in our wonderful little camp. Anyway, uh, the interesting thing about the the sort of classes in this game is that everyone has a, a different skill set. Humans, for example, an adaptable species, but very susceptible to the rain. Humans are adept at farming, but prefer to work indoors. Beavers, as you can imagine, very good at woodwork. Hardworking, peaceful, and honest people. Uh, and they enjoy working with rain punk technology. And then we've also got the lizard people over here, uh, like working uh, with the Illuminati and uh, and part of uh, part of large social networks. Uh, and they have their own set of skills as well. Okay, uh, we got some uh, we got some missions. I'm going to track these missions. Our missions are to build a lumber camp, assemble a whole bunch of wood, uh, discover two glades, and we're going to get some rewards in the form of humans and beavers and also reputation, which is uh, which is kind of lovely actually. I'm I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, let's see if we can try and get some beavers assigned to our lumber camp, and they are hopefully going to start uh, collecting some wood. But also, more so than that, I'm actually going to mark some trees for harvesting. And I'm specifically going to target these trees. Now, these trees are showing up as gold because they are within collection range. If I uh, mark these trees for harvesting, uh, they're going to show up as silver. And, uh, and that's fine. And that's one of the things that I love about this game, actually, is that the visual style is so good. Like, it, it looks really, really good. Now, as you can probably see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get access to these glades. So I was kind of hoping that I'd maybe be able to get access to this one over here. Uh, but that doesn't really look to be the case. Presumably because uh, the range of the lumber camp just isn't quite enough. But that, you know, that's that's not necessarily a problem. We'll get ourselves a second lumber camp anyway. That was kind of always on the, uh, on the mission list. And so that is what we will do. We're going to bump it into... Uh, three times speed and we're gonna queue up that to be uh, to be chopped down excellent we'll get a beaver over here so we've got two beavers on this one we've got one beaver on this one but that's grand all right let's see what's going on our orders have been fulfilled let us deliver that and let's see let's see what happens oh look at that we got our reputation point and we get to pick a brand new building again a wide choice of literally one a foragers camp starting point for foragers going out into the wild to gather mushrooms eggs and reeds cool all right well i guess that that's exactly what we're going to build to be honest and it looks like there are some mushrooms 
within range. So, uh, so yeah, let's absolutely bang that down and see see what we've got in store. What have we got? Uh, what have we got currently? We've got food in the form of eggs, meat, vegetables, and mushrooms. We've got some wood. We've got some parts, generic parts. We've got some plant fibers, and we've got some firewood and copper tools. Okay. All right. I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, drizzle year one next clearance in two minutes very very exciting indeed uh, we need to explore two glades and we shall do that uh, we're going to track our food supply objectives uh, and in fact to be honest we can do that right now because apparently we have more than enough mushrooms to satisfy the demands of the queen mold supply plus one to mushroom production gain additional mushrooms every yield from gathering farming or production very cool i'll also track this what is this planks bricks and rope Okay, all right, that's that's fine. And we also have a reputation point. We're gonna get ourselves a crude workstation, which you guessed it is gonna be able to make uh, rope and planks and bricks just like just like we need to do. So let's get that down and let's get uh, let's get a harvesting. What do we need? So we can do any type of person for this role, any type of person for this role, but it has to be a human for for this role here. All right, sure. We'll just get a, a human to do it, I guess. Oh, I thought this person was a mushroom, but in fact, it's just a human with a coat on. I mean, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Ooh, what's this over here? There's some flowers? Flax field? Ah, gathered via a scavenger camp. I mean, we could get a scavenger camp down. I think, yeah. I mean, that's the only thing that we can really we can really do with a scavenger camp. But sure, I'll get it down. I mean, we currently have a couple of unemployed people anyway. Why not put a few people to work? Makes perfect sense. Uh, don't bother chopping these trees down, please, beavers. It's, it's just not necessary. We need to explore more glades. We don't need to worry about anything else. All right, we got one more mission that is arriving in uh, a minute and a half or thereabouts, which is just grand. We're getting that second glade. We're getting this workshop done. What do we need? Let's get a beaver. And we'll get a lizard, I guess? Sure. So, wood turns into planks. Plant fibers turn into rope. And clay turns into bricks. Now, I think that this is clay here, if I'm not mistaken. Gathered via stonecutter's camp. Okay, we can, we can get that. We have that already. Sure, get that down. So that still leaves us with a couple of people that uh, that are, are raiding for jobs, looking for jobs. No deposits. No suitable deposits in range. Uh, do we need lizard people to collect plant fibers? Uh, I think that we should be able to collect this. Gathered via scavenger camp. Yeah, we should be able to collect this. Try putting a beaver in, in charge instead. Yeah, it's set to set to do. It's definitely within range. All right, uh, that's a bit of a pain in the backside, but no big deal, I suppose. I'm just gonna complain about it bitterly. Very very disappointed. Uh, the beaver is doing the wood refining. That's grand. Why the heck is this? Why the heck is this not working? See if we can try and move this around a little bit. Right, does that does that work? That does work, even though theoretically it said that it would previously. Is it just not within range? Maybe it was just maybe visually it just didn't look like it was in range. Maybe that's what it was. Aha! And ancient tablets. I will indeed do my best to get the uh, to get the ancient tablets built. And we got a stone cutter here. Let's assign a lizard person, given that that's the only person that I actually can assign, to mine up some of this clay. And that's pretty much everything that we need to worry about Dunzo, right? Lizard firekeepers are adept at ancient rites. Ah, yes, we do have a lizard person that's actually working the fire presently. Nobody's working in the main storage building, and we've got a global modifier of mold supply, which uh, I think is just fine with me. Okay. So I guess this is the good weather. 
Uh, it doesn't look like things have really drastically changed, but uh, apparently this is the good weather. Ooh, what is this? Stormbird nest. Stormbird nest small. Aha! Forager's camp, trapper's camp, and also a clay deposit. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, let's uh, let's grab this. Nice, and then let's see what we've got going on up here. Hey, 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 we get to choose. We get to choose who we want. I think I'm going to take a beaver and a human. No hate against, uh, no hate against lizard people, but I think I'm fine with just the, the current number of lizard people. Okay, a little bit more rope, some clay, and we should be good. Let's actually get another person assigned to work at the stonecutters camp because I know for a fact that we're going to need more uh, we're going to need more people and what do you know we get to pick a building your renown grows viceroy the crown has sent me to award you with a blueprint excellent okay what do we want a human house a beaver house or a lizard house it seems only right to get the beaver house not only do we have the resources to build one right now uh, but we also have the most beavers, so I guess that really makes sense. We also have the ability to make a shelter, which is kind of cool, uh, but not super required. Let's get one of those down. Kraken. Alright, so far so good. Get the housing down. Lumber camp is still looking fine. There we go. Just work on this tree. Get me access to this glade, please. Looks like that's the edge of the map. What else is going on over here? Oh, what's this? A danger glade. All right, it's a fairly small map. Lots of trees that we can uh, that we can work on, and indeed we might just do that. How's the beaver house? Building specifically for beavers. Excellent. That's what we like to see. As long as the beavers are fine, that, that makes me very happy. Right. Are we building are we building what we need to be building? The beaver is building stuff. You're not really you're not really building much at the moment, uh lizard person. Are you supposed to be building something? You're building planks. Okay, let's let's disable plank production. Instead, let's make some rope and let's make some bricks. We need to we need to maybe do something about that. Limit plank production to ten. I don't actually know how many bits of plank we have at the moment. Limit it to five. Turn plank production back on. Uh, limit this to limit that to ten rope as well. And get that set on 10. What did we actually need? Scavenger deposit uh, is done. Oh, okay. That's a shame. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll move the scavenger deposit over here. What the heck is this? An abandoned cache of copper tools. Okay. Well, let's, let's assign you to do that. Ooh. We get to... We get to choose a reward. Copper tools or infused tools. Interesting. Oh, we need to give copper tools? I see. Okay, we need to give copper tools and we get bundle of firewood, box of grain, bundle of coats, or we get amber pouch or queen's grace if we do decide to send to the citadel. Right, let's set that to be investigated. Uh, bricks. We should be good to start producing bricks anytime now. There we go. We're actually just starting, which is grand. Okay, wonderful. Let's go down to single time speed. Let's see what's up. No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely as you won't be able to change it. Okay, insect traps or exploration contract. The Royal Academy wants a detailed map of the region. will supply anyone willing to help. Grain, 10, reeds, 10, bricks. What? Grain, 10? No, not grain. Gain 10 reeds and 10 clay for each discovered glade. Stockpile of insect traps. Gain one insect for every five mushrooms produced. Um, Mushrooms sound disgusting, as do insects. Give me an exploration contract. Sure. Sign me up to that one. Uh, we're about to complete this, which is pretty good. 
pretty happy with that. Right, what about this over here? We got some mushrooms here. I mean, we could move... Could move the scavenger thingy, but it doesn't really seem worth it. Uh, I think we're going to move the lumber camp. Move the lumber camp to here. And then start work on these trees. Again, seems kind of pointless to... Seems kind of pointless to cut a lot. Here we go. Just cut a couple. Cut a couple of trees through here. And we'll move you. Do we have any spare beavers? Ah, we totally do have a spare beaver. There we go. Beaver, you can go and work. Uh, go work over there. Of course, we can also click on the individual beaver if we indeed want to know any more about a specific beaver. Thankfully, I, I don't really care, though. All right, let's get these bricks, shall we? Let's freaking go. Boom. We need just a few more bricks. Actually, what am I talking about? Do we have the ability to make uh, to make bricks at the moment? Yeah, we totally can. Yeah, we can. We just need to wait for them to be delivered to the stockpile. Hey, there we go. We just did it. Okay, I was wondering why it was taking so long. Seems that we fixed it. Reinforced axes. Wood cutting is way easier. Lumber camp production plus 25%. All right, I'll take that. That's wonderful. Ancient tablet. Valuable source of knowledge, highly sought after by traders and the queen herself. They can be found on dangerous glades. Okay, looks like we need to do a little bit of uh, exploring. A, cl a clothier? A clothier? Can produce coats, rope, paper, and has two worker slots. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're going to get that. Yoink it down. Pads. Uh, I will get pads, actually. Sounds like a grand thing to do. If they increase worker speed, then... Uh, and it's completely free. Kind of seems like a no-brainer from my perspective. All right. Aha! What do we got? We've got a small patch of moss broccoli. And we've got some more mushrooms. Okay. No biggie. Cut through here as well. Sure. Okay. Abandoned cash is awaiting your action. Ooh, how lovely. 0 0.5 reputation points. Uh, I think I'll keep the goods, I guess. Sure. Keep the goods. How much firewood do we actually have? A more efficient fuel type produced at the lumber mill. Uh, I guess, I guess that's fine for now, then. Don't need any storage, don't need any extra industry. I uh, probably do want an additional beaver house. Got to keep those beavers in, uh, in good spirits. Let's also get a couple of shelters, I guess. Sure. Seems like a pretty sensible thing to do all around. And we will continue to build out the path, which I have maybe been rather enthusiastic about it. Let me... Let me ditch this path here. Seems a bit daft. Uh, this lumber mill can be moved. There we go. And we'll continue to work our way through the forest here. There she blows. Trim that a little bit. Mark. Uh, don't actually mark that quite yet. We may... May need additional stuff. In order to face the dangerous glade. But I will chop through here. Sure. Okay. Newcomers are waiting. Once in a while you can welcome some newcomers. I will indeed do that. Uh, humans or a lizard and a beaver? Uh... I think I'll take the lizard and the beaver, to be honest. No reason not to. All right, the queen's impatient is uh, the queen's impatience is actually growing. We do need to be worried about this. It is happening. What do we got going on over here? Small encampment. 
Ooh, okay. An encampment was found. There seems to be survivors around. What is the amber for? I, I have absolutely no idea what the amber is for. Uh, let's send to the citadel, I guess. Four eggs and four veggies. I think that we can manage that very easily, in fact. Yeah. Four eggs, four veggies, yeah. No no issues there whatsoever. Uh, we're not really in need of new people at this moment in time. In fact, everything is, is, is okay. Stonecutter's camp has been expended entirely. Uh, let's get a few new people... You need people working here. Okay, good. Nice. All right, so we're gonna use reeds, turn them into coats. We're gonna use plant fibers, turn them into ropes. We're gonna use reeds plus ink and turn it into paper, which to me sounds like a pretty darn good idea. Let's limit to five coats. Limit to four of those. Limit to eight of those. Just make sure that we're limiting everything. Otherwise, I feel like we're probably just going to have loads and loads of issues. Right. We've got one person that's unemployed. That one person is going to become an employee at a forager camp so that we can gather... There we go. This way, we're going to be able to gather mushrooms and also eggs... The current forager's camp still has another half patch of mushrooms to go. I say a half patch of mushrooms to go, a full patch of mushrooms to go. So that's okay. The stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. I'm acutely aware of the situation. It does kind of suck, but it's okay. Worm tongue nest. Again. Ew. Let's get... Let's get one of these. We're going to send to the queen yet again. Let's see what happens. So what did we get with the... What did we get for the uh, for the amber? Amber... The am, amber. Amber? Is it, just, uh, is it just a currency? I'm assuming that it's just sort of a currency type. Yeah, it, it's literally... Literally just a currency type. I mean, I guess I'm fine with that. There's no real reason to... There's no real reason to accept amber over anything else, though, is there? I guess it's probably more valuable to have the to have the people in the uh, in the long run, but that's fine. Uh, lumber camp. Let's get this moved over there. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And was there another? Was there another source? Was there another source of clay by any chance? I don't think that there was. Everyone should have a house now, if I'm not mistaken. It's quite good. Aha! Another cache. Basket of biscuits, bricks, and pottery. Uh, I mean, we still have tools, right? Ooh. Yeah, we still have tools. We still have 28 tools. Send to the citadel. Uh, that is gonna... That is gonna max out our reputation, which I, I guess I will do. For the sake of saying that I've done it. But, uh, but there you go. Apparently, we've done it. The village is secured, uh, but there is one more test of your skills. Ooh, okay, interesting. We didn't even find the ancient tablet. I don't know why. That's fine. Villagers with low resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Okay, all right. Weak-willed. Weak-willed individuals. Okay, keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation over time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let me play, please, video game. I just want to. I just want to play the game. I'm enjoying it so far. I, I really am, actually. It's pretty good. The visual, the visual style is excellent. Species have different needs. Mark Zuckerberg has got different, uh, different needs from the King of the Beavers. Farmers can only plant on farmland. I really dislike enforced tutorials, as you can probably, 
as you can probably gather. Uh, but I will sit, I will sit through it for the sake of content. Build a farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in the tavern. Hey, that's a, that's a simple, that's a simple life if ever I, uh, if ever I heard of it. All right, good stuff. Where did the, where did, where did my last village go? Have I been moved on to a new post? Disappointed. Small farm, I'll take it. I have no other choice. Uh, sure. Get that down over there, and let's get, let's get it going. A trading post. Ooh. Very interested in that. It's gonna cost me 10 wood. Let's get a lumber camp down so that we can at least start making some progress on these trees. There we go. Good stuff. A regular storm. Homeless villagers are especially vulnerable during the storm. Fulfill the housing needs. Okay, all right. I will. I will do that. Worry about that in just a second. Let's have a let's have a crank team of beavers. There we go. Get to work. And let's get a human and another human here. Okay. I think. I think we're okay with this. I think that we are very, very okay with this. Let's get some shelters. We'll get some shelters as soon as we possibly can. Uh, we're gonna need two, of course, because we've got more than eight people. In fact, we're gonna need exactly two. That's fine. All right, let's track this, track this. What do we need? Two lumber camps and two shelters. It's already underway. Uh, farm field can only be placed on fertile soil. Did I actually place a farm field? Oh, I need to I need to specifically zone it. All right, that's fine. Happy to do that. Very, very, very happy to do that indeed. The beavers are going to give me woods. That is going to make me happy. Everyone is going to get a house. Everything is tracked. Everything is great. Right, we got an abandoned cache of resources. We're going to keep the goods because there is no point in not keeping the goods. From what I can see anyway. And everyone will have a house before you know it. Speaking of houses, time for another lumber camp. Because we need to we need to get another one. So let us do that. There looks like there's more blueprint rewards over the course of this level, which uh, I like the sound of. Very, very cool. And we got a few more missions. A few more missions. Right, shelter is done. Shelter number one, anyway, is done. So the beavers and the humans have clearly moved in first. Lizard people are going to have to live outside for a little longer. Bit of a shame, but I guess that's the, the risk that you run by being a lizard person. Go keep the, keep the root somewhat slim there. Who's, who was shouting at me there? There was somebody that was shouting at me. Whatever. All right. Let's get uh, let's get the second shelter done, and let's continue to press ahead into the great unknown. We have a clay deposit here, which I am going to preemptively try and build a stone cutter's camp. See if we can try and. See if we can try and get that down. Uh, that's a danger glade over there. We will, we will play it easy. Play it easy. Play it cool, even. It says there's an abandoned cache in here. Oh, there is. Just tucked away in the corner. I will... I will yoink that as well. Very nice. How much uh, How much food we got? Uh, we got a plentiful amount of food. And to be honest... We're gonna be we're gonna be totally fine once there we go once the rain ends and the uh, and the clearance begins because that is when that is when the the food is available for our harvest which is very very nice indeed get a lizard person there and look at that oh look at we're able to get three freaking uh, three freaking missions done 
deliver, deliver, deliver. And that gives us, what, a couple of blueprints, if I'm not mistaken? A trapper camp, okay, allows meat, egg, and insect collection. Very cool. We've got a brewery. Very nice, yes. And also, a kiln can produce coal, bricks, and jerky, and it has three worker slots. Nice. Uh, I also note that we are in line for a few new people. Uh, I'm going to take people. Humans, that is. And then let's see what we've got in store. So the trappers camp, insects, and eggs. And also meat. Sure, get that down over yonder. We'll get a brewery. Get a brewery here, but we're not actually able to build the brewery quite yet because we need to get the crude workstation in place first. Let's get that down there. Let's get a beaver assigned here. Crude workstation is on the agenda for sure. Let's get another shelter here because I know we're going to need it. And housing is, is not great. It's not in a great place, but it's at least not in a terrible place either. Uh, food, I think that we might struggle a little bit for. Is this farmland, by the way? This is fertile soil. I think the idea of a second... The idea of a second farm probably isn't the craziest idea in the world. Let's get that built. Uh, this stonecutter's lodge place absolutely does not need to be here. It is merely... It is merely in an inconvenient location. Presently. Here we go. Crude workstation. Let's get human. Let's get beaver. Let's limit the number of planks. Limit the number of ropes. Limit them all to eight. That sounds that sounds like a reasonable amount, right? Sure. Ooh, we also need to get a kiln down as well, don't we? And we can actually build that pretty much immediately. So, let's freaking go. Okay. Uh, you, small farm, need to be... need to be assigned. And then we can start growing some stuff quite nicely. Let's get a trapper here to get ourselves some meat from the eggs. Lumber camp. Let's get... Uh, let's get this moved over here. Cool. And we'll just continue to move continue to move things around as we go. Looking good to me. A kiln. Uh, unfortunately, no lizard people. No lizard people at the moment, but that's fine. So we can make coal, and I will make coal. I'll make a little bit of coal anyway. Make a little bit of clay, and we'll make a little bit of jerky, although I can't actually make can't actually make jerky at the moment because we don't have insects, and I don't think that there is anywhere that we can actually get insects at the present moment. No. We've got, uh, we've got meat. We've got meat from the slick shell broodmother here. That's a danger glade as well. Okay, that's, that's particularly spicy, but that's okay. Alright, what do we got here? People... Actually, unironically, this time I'm going to take the beaver and the lizard people because I I need a beaver and a lizard person for kiln. Uh, lizard people are also pretty good at trapping, so makes makes sense, right? Makes sense to get more of them. What do we got? More eggs. Um, it's maybe handy, I guess. The meat is certainly certainly nice but cool pottery barrels okay we can stick the we can stick the ale in barrels instead of pottery uh, I will do that cap it at 10 cap it at 10 and cap it at 10 uh, stick the wine in barrels mushroom wine oh lordy that's awful Sure. Yeah. All right. Let's go. 
Don't produce wine, though. That seems really daft. Given that it's not even a mission, it doesn't even seem like it's worth it. Okay, a bonus. 30% amount, 30% uh, increase the amount of goods produced in the brewery. Plus two to grain production. Uh, gain additional grain every yield from gathering, farming, and production. Set of tools specialized to grub tree stumps. Gain 10 roots for each discovered glade. I think I'll take... I think I'll take advanced brewing, although... My natural choice there is increased grain yields. But I'm not going to worry about that altogether too much. All right, we got a mission which is starting real soon. We got a brewery down, which is grand, and we do have, we do have the ale coming. It is coming, slowly but surely. Ah, we've already got five of the ale. Excellent. Uh, Queen's impatience is is increasing. A little bit of a, a little bit of a nuisance. That. How's my morale? My morale's pretty high. Yeah, morale's pretty good. That's fine. Uh, not bother chopping down that. Put that over here. What the heck is this? It's another slick shell brood mother. Okay. Fine. Happy. Happy to. Happy to continue with that. Uh, I will take anything which gives me more lizard people because I feel like I need them. I'll take the Brewing Ale mission as well. Medium Builder Pack. Workers will carry five more items at once. Ooh, pack of mushrooms and some barrels. All right, well, I can't exactly say no to that. My reputation is increasing. The Queen's patience is uh, also increasing. What do we got here? A tavern. Excellent. Requires ale and wine. I tell you what, now this is a pretty good time to consider... Yeah, consider adding wine to the production uh, to the production list. We can totally do it. And you know what? We can actually get the tavern down. Excellent. Good stuff. All right. Place for rest. We need fun. We need a tavern. And we also need human resolve. I mean, I feel like all of that is going to happen naturally. I'm also going to build a trade station. I don't know if we're supposed to have it this early, but... What's the harm in uh, in actually building it? Also, speaking of, there's no reason not to get a shelter or two down. Shelter there, shelter there. I feel like everyone needs more houses. A little bit of housing goes a long way, as they say. We're still managing our food fairly well. Tighten this tree grouping up if we want to explore. Which is what we do. What do we got here? Root deposit and we got some abandoned crates. Oil rope. Um okay, I, I don't really like the, the look of any of that, but it's fine. Ooh, okay, we got some root deposits. Now, root deposits are useful for creating ink. But we need we need spark dew in order to in order to do that. Alternatively, we could use roots to make uh, ale or wine, which is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, the trading post is now up and running. Can be expected to arrive in the first quarter of clearance. Uh, Shailida Shai will be coming to the settlement. She sells food, blueprints for agricultural buildings, and food production perks. Willing to buy food, building materials. And some crafting materials. Okay, that's cool. Uh, tavern is looking pretty good. Let's get uh, let's get a lizard person in the tavern. Nothing says hospitality like a lizard person. Production focuses luxury or fun. I mean, looks like we can't choose, so doesn't matter, I guess. But let's go have some fun. Yay, everyone! What do we got? Thirty-one. Well, we've got 17 ale and 9 wine. That ain't bad at all. Alright, give the beaver a job as well. Ooh, actually, no. Don't give the beaver a job. Unem yeah, there we go. Unemploy the beaver so that the beaver can continue to build my uh, my houses. Right, I think that we're going to hit our targets, like, ridiculously easily. I don't even think it's going to be... 
I don't even think it's going to be difficult. Oh, come on. Finish building the finish building the house, eh? Finish building the house, get us across the line. And we'll be just fine. All right. Uh Queen's impatience is growing, but it's fine. Being homeless during the storm. I'm trying to fix that. There we go. Okay, so everyone should be Is are these people these people aren't uh aren't in a home. Okay, all right. That's That's fine. Let's get that built. Let's get that built then. All right, we survived the storm. That's grand. I'll take three more people. Let's have a little look. Queen's Envoy. Glades are examined more carefully. Gain six pottery for each discovered glade. Uh, I guess. I've got to be honest, it's not super handy. It's not super handy, but I will do it nonetheless. And I guess I will continue to build shelters. In awkward places. How are we doing for wood? Oh my goodness, we got plenty of wood. Wood for days. We are about to hit our fun threshold, which is excellent. We're going to cash that in, gain a little bit of reputation, gain some tools, gain some barrels, gain some beavers by the looks of it. Stonecutter's camp is all out of stone. I guess we'll send him to dig up roots instead. I don't love it, but it's, it's fine. Human kiln worker died? Whatever. All right, and let's take a new blueprint. What do we got? A makeshift post? Can produce pack of provisions, pack of building materials, pack of crops, has two worker slots. All right, we'll, we'll do it. Not entirely sure why we need to do it, but that's okay. And we'll do this, what do we got? Mold supply and bundle of reeds. Love to see it. Oh, Queen's impatience is just melting away. Melting away. I'm I'm her favorite. I'm her favorite viceroy. Right, lizard house, human house, or beaver house. Once again, we're we're picking beaver house. We have to pick beaver house. Contractually obliged to uh, to pick beaver house. The simple fact of the matter is is that there is there's more beavers than anyone else. Uh, we are, like, slightly out of space here, though. So, I'll, I'll get two beaver houses, and that'll be fine. Makeshift post. Uh, herbs. Don't use herbs. Use meat. We've got meat coming in. Stick a beaver in here. Stick a lizard person in here. Planks or rope or bricks. We'll use bricks. We don't have a use for bricks at the moment. Used to fulfill orders. Is this going to allow us to trade uh, a bit more easily? I hope that that's the case. We use grain as well. Limit this. Limit this. Limit this. Cool. All right. I think that we've built just about everything. We've got a few more unlocks that are coming down the road. Uh, I want to see what else is in these glades over here. That's candid, obviously, what we're what we're all about. I also want to see what's in the Danger Glade, right? Mushrooms. And a little bit of farmland. Right, well that's... Very lame would be, would be an understatement, to be honest. There we go. Oh, look at that. Human resolve is sky freaking high. Let's get more beavers here. Excellent. And we await our next mission. Or two, I guess. Trapper's camp. Trapper's camp will need to move a little bit. Sure, stick it over there and continue to get the uh, to get the meat from the the brood. Got an abandoned crate here. I will take the take the stuff. Ooh, it's time for a trade. What do I need? I don't think that I need much to be honest. Forager 
uh, Forager Blueprint, no secret cookbook. How to cook more efficiently. Gain five jerky for every 10 stew produced. Uh, planting crops is 25% faster. I'll take that. Pies. I'll take mold supply. I'll take the secret cookbook, even though I'm not particularly interested. I'll give you like 45 wood. Pack of provisions. Pack of crops. Ale. Okay, you're starting to like this. Oil. I'll give you five oil. How about that? Uh, planks. All 12 of the planks that we've got. Um, I can't give you pottery. I can give you leather. We don't need leather. Bricks. Reeds. More wood. How on earth is this still a fair trade? Wow. Okay, we squeaked it over the line. What a terrible, terrible, terrible deal we got there. All right, more lizard people. Yes, big on lizard people. I think everyone should have a house at the moment. Yeah, it looks like everyone is... Looks like everyone has a house right now, which is grand. Traders left the village. Kind of to be expected. Uh, do we actually have a forager camp? Oh, we don't actually have a forager camp. I thought we did. We've got a scavenger camp, which is uh, remarkably similar to a forager camp. Does it really matter? No, it just means that... It just means that we're going to have to double down on meat production as opposed to relying on mushroom production. It's fine. Rope, jerky, bundle of ancient tablet. Okay, uh, let's assign a worker to go and get to work on that. All right, we got, uh, we got our last mission coming at us real soon. It may very well be to build an army to take on whatever the heck is in these danger glades. I kind of want to fight. I want to fight whatever is in one of these danger glades. I think that's what I'm going to do, to be honest. Just let's freaking, let's freaking go for it. All right, 30 seconds. And move you over here. All right, this is, this is what we, this is what we have to expect now. The danger, the dangerous glade is, uh, is coming at us. All right, let's see what we got in store. Uh, eight packs of provisions, or 15 packs of provisions, should I say, and also building materials. I mean, this is a very, very simple case of just adjusting our expectations a little bit. Production targets. If we hit our production targets, we will be just fine. Nobody is homeless right now, which is excellent. I can imagine how living in... Living in this environment is marginally worse than living in Scotland, where it always seems to be raining. Uh, lizard people, please. Anyone homeless? Uh, I don't think so. What do we got? A set of specialized alchemical tools. Gain three wine for each 15 ale produced. It's pretty good. Three to global resolve. Uh, roads are now constructed me with meticulously designed drainage. Ooh, don't like that. I'll take the thrill of exploration. And I hope that uh, what we what we find here is, is exciting. Okay. We're still working the meats. Do we have any bricks? Clay? We don't have any... We don't have any clay at the moment. We don't even have any bricks. Yeah, so we need to kind of rectify that. We gotta... We gotta explore. Pick a new blueprint. Oh yeah, I need to do that. An outfitter... Or... A... Clothier. Clothier? Coats, pack of trade goods. It doesn't really matter for, for all that I need. All right, let's see what's here. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, fallen Lizard Warriors. Okay. Causes unrest in the lizard population. Investigate. Is that the danger? Glade event. Unsealed vault. Ah, okay. Mysterious relic was found in the newly discovered glade. A strange dark mist envelops it. Strange thing, strange things are happening in the settlement. Okay, fine. And we just need to stick rope and planks, and copper tools in the hole. That's easy. Uh, we're also going to move the stonecutters camp. Gonna assign somebody new, and we're going to move the stonecutters camp over here. Because thankfully, we will now be able to get back on top of our of our collection operation. Wow, okay, I regret not coming here earlier. Unassign one of these beavers. Assign a beaver over here. There we freaking go, eh? Okay, uh, we should be able to seal this vault. We should be able to get ourselves what we need. We've won. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, let's go to the world map. I suspect there is probably... I suspect there is probably not much more... Biome is not available in the demo. Uh, so we can embark over here if we wanted to. So what? We just had the two tutorial towns and then we have the ability to... Well, found a town pretty much anywhere. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Enter Citadel. Let's see what's in the Citadel. Oh, wonderful. We can actually set up trade routes. That's very, very cool. I like that a lot. Spices from the Citadel. Stone. We can buy some upgrades as well. Ooh, I, I like that. I like that a tremendous amount. So where do we want to, where do we want to set up camp? Stonewood infestation. The trees are much more sturdy here. Yeah, what what is the what is this whole modifier thingy? Click to end the current cycle. I mean, I don't really want to worry about that. This biome is not available in the demo. Sure. Okay, let's let's go. Medium, 12 reputation to be done in this biome, 12 impatience. Rainpunk technology ripped from the past. Name your settlement. Potato Town. Of course. Uh, just take everything, I guess, right? Are we not allowed to? We're not allowed to take everything. Okay, cool. Just, just go for it then. All right, let's see what we've got in store. Sun festivities. Units a twenty percent chance to double the yield each production cycle for humans, beavers, and lizards. And we just need food. Fine. Downpour, we need to get clothing, we need to get housing, and we need to get services. Okay. We can pick three buildings. I'm going to pick the lumber mill, perhaps. Lumber mill seems more useful. We can also pick up the lizard, uh, the human house. We can reroll if we want to. I'll pick up that. Sure. A ranch or a trapper's camp? Trapper's camp is much cheaper. We're going to be able to make much earlier use out of it. Okay. Let's... Let's start off. Let's start off with a... Lumber yard. Relations and trade relations. Oh my goodness gracious me. How exciting is this? This is like a whole different game. It just really makes you makes you wonder why the heck did I have to sit through the tutorial in order, in order to in order to get to this point shelter just requires wood uh, I think we're gonna get a couple of shelters then sure let's go uh, do I have any foraging I don't have foraging I do have scavenging scavenging does not work on the Scavenging does not work on the uh, on the mushrooms, which is a bit of a shame. 
Let's get beavers, beavers, beavers. Through there, through there. Tidy it up a little bit. Sure. And we will get some... Ah, we'll get one person in here. Cap it, cap it, cap it. Probably don't need that many barrels, to be fair. All right, let's get to work. I'm a little bit worried that we don't really have any way to, to get food, but that's fine. What do we got? Discover three glades, two lumber camps, a bit of wood, pack of provisions, makeshift post. Excellent. All right, everything that we have been set to do is very, very achievable. And even the Danger Glades, which we have uh, now looked into a little bit more thoroughly, we know that there's not much danger to be found there. It's mostly fine. Farming over woodcutting. Villager training is focused on farming. Farm production is 50% higher, but woodcutting is 50% slower. Ooh, don't like that. I mean, I do like it, but I also don't like it. Root production? I think I'm gonna just take sturdy boots, to be honest. 10% movement speed seems pretty incredible, actually, now that I think about it. I like to look at that a lot. Uh, mushrooms, that's all fine and dandy, but... Uh, sure, we're going to get some non-beavers working on the wood chopping for a little while. Uh, heresy, you might say, but... Uh, I say it's, uh, it's, a practical, it's a practical need that has driven us to the humans and the lizard people. go and how's that looking oh look at that we got uh, we got farmland and we got a glade event here which i would like to click on please a small encampment mushrooms and berries now what do we have we have the mushrooms i guess we'll use vegetables as the other one and we can get some new people uh yeah we'll do that i guess get you to go and investigate there and we'll move the crank team of beavers over yonder get that cut down too i am kind of desperate for a way to generate food though I, I really do not have a way to to increase our food supply it's actually quite embarrassing okay clothing isn't happening housing has been fulfilled that's excellent we need to get some services as well. Right. Make a pathway through here, pathway through there. And we just need like one extra glade, right? Ooh, lumber camp has been completed. A little bit of extra reputation and also some beavers. It's pretty good. Give me something to make food. Forager camp is perfect. I will take a forager camp any day of the week. And I will get this down... I will start collecting those mushrooms faithfully and truly. I honestly will. And I will take humans because there is a little bit of a human deficit happening right now. Though that being said, that will put us in a housing deficit, which is somewhat less than ideal, but that's okay. We do have the ability to... We have the ability to do human houses, and uh, we'll probably start pretty soon. We don't have a kiln yet, but we do have a makeshift construction post. So, you know what I'm thinking? That looks like a bit of clay. Yep, and then that looks like some bricks. It's not a great ratio, but it's it's fine. I suspect it's probably better if we are able to choose uh, another type of building. But we'll worry about that in just a second. Track, track, and track. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Right, the lumber mill is still fine. Keep on, keep on keeping on. And we've got a brood mother camp here. And also our objective is completed. Cool. All right, so more stuff that can be, that can be utilized by the trapper. Although... Of course, we now 
have the ability and the inclination to actually build a trapper. Before we had no we had no idea that the brood mother was uh, was just around the corner, but now we know. It's fine. Right, do we have the ability to build a makeshift post? We absolutely do. Let's get this down, given that that's kind of what we need to do. Pack of crops, small farm. I don't even think that we have the ability to make a farm, do we? Uh, we do have the ability to make a trading post, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Where'd it go? Did see it. There we go. Yeah, trading post. We should get this down, even if I don't necessarily intend to use it. We'll build it nonetheless. And a smokehouse... Or a clothier. Clothier? Can I reroll this? I wish I could. I'll take the clothier for now. Cool. What were, what were we looking for? Six pack of provisions. I've set eight. I'll set it on meat. Because we do kind of need meat. I also am desperate for more lizard people. Where are my lizard people currently located? This is a very, very nice interface. Let's uh, unassign you there. Assign you over there. Uh, the hearth... Don't need to be on the hearth there. You could be at another trapper's camp. Like, literally... Literally over here. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Over diligent woodworkers. Some woodworkers just can't stop working. Gain four barrels for each 10 plank production. Infused rainfall or rain is getting heavy. Vegetable production is increased by two, but global resolve is decreased by two. Farming over woodcutting. Wow, the game really wants me to have farming over woodcutting. I'm not interested, video game. I'm not interested. Not interested even slightly. I'm more newcomers. You know what I'm going to take? I'm going to take lizard people. That's right. And again puts us in a little bit of an awkward position when it comes to housing, but uh, we will expand. I am... Lizard resolve is low. I can better believe it, to be honest. I don't have the option to build a lizard house. I do have the option to build a human house, though, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to take two clay bricks. And we need to build some infrastructure as well, apparently. Can just about manage. There we go. Thankfully, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. Okay. Track, track, track. Oh my goodness, that's a pack of fuel. Discover five glades. We're still working on the original one. Oh my giddy ants. This is busy. This is really busy. Right, cut through there. Where are my woodcutters? Trading post is looking is looking grand. Uh, let's move the lumber camp over here. We'll do some lumbering. That's the terrible lumber camp though. The lumber the proper lumber camp is over is over here. To be honest, you shouldn't even really be a lumber camp anymore. Move that back over there. Move this comfortably into the middle here. And that should allow us to make some progress on uh, on glaive, glaive discovery. Stonecutter's camp. Uh, we are out of stone. And dare I suggest that there is no other place for the stonecutter to go. So that sucks. Uh, tell you what, though. Let's actually put this lumber camp to good use. Sure. And we can even get three beavers in here. Very cool. What do we got? We got an option to trade. A bakery blueprint. Or a brewery blueprint. Uh, harvesting crops is 25% faster. Planting is faster. We don't really need anything to be honest here. No, you know what? I'm not really, I'm not really interested. It's maybe worth getting a brewery, but we still need a tavern to accompany that, right? 
It's so, it's so expensive. Well, that would be good. These pack of provisions are apparently worth an absolute arm and a leg. Sure, I'll take... I'll take a brewery then. Sure. It's going to set us back in terms of missions a little bit further, but I can just about handle that. I can just about manage. Right, we're going to be going into two danger glades very, very soon indeed. Trader is about to leave. That's fine. Get more of you. Are we still okay for housing? Supposedly. Supposedly, yes. Uh, I need a little bit more path here. Should do just fine. There we go. We've done it. Get this reward. Meat and new tools for our gatherers. Gathering speed in the scavenger camp is a little faster. Nice. Traders left the village. That's grand. Let's work on our pack of provisions. And in fact, let me just check on the pack of provisions. Manufacturing speed. It's literally just meat that we need. Yeah, kind of anticipated that that would be the case. Seems like we're doing okay for meat, though. We don't have much of a food supply remaining, though. And by that, I mean we need to think about where we go from here. Move the forager around a smidgen. Forage on uh, a few of these things. We get to pick a new blueprint, which is grand. A smokehouse. Or a kiln. I think I'll take a kiln. The reason that I want a kiln is because it is going to make bricks slightly more efficiently. What else? Brewery. I don't actually have a brewery yet. I also do not have the means to build a brewery right now because we are still waiting on the crude workshop producing a few more a few more ropes. We'll actually build ropes with something else instead. Build it with the leather that we're getting from all of these from all of these things. Uh, what the heck? Why is everyone upset? Hostility of the forest? Looming darkness? Is that... Uh... Rampaging storm stifles... Stifles creatures? Alright, well that's fine, whatever. Makeshift post, we've actually already got a makeshift post. I don't know why that's... I don't know why I'm saying that, because of course we've already got a makeshift post. Alright. Track, track, and track. Things are going okay thus far. Not super great. What the heck is happening over here? Ancient shrine? Uh, yeah, let's get this done, please. Let's get this done too. Food stockpiles. Ooh, interesting. You'll be able to use some of the goods that you send to the capital next time you, uh, next time you come here. And also that's lizards. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, we are losing quite a lot of morale, which I, I don't love. Get lizards in here. Get lizards working inside. Maybe that's going to make a difference. I thought that everyone had housing. It seems like everyone does have housing. Four out of four, three out of four. Yeah, I mean, if there's only three out of four residents, then that means that uh, it's not all bad. You know, it's not all terrible. Move this over here. Keep on keeping on. Uh, but clearly, like, we need to do more to... We need to do, do more to actually make people happy. The real problem with this is that even though that we've got the, the kiln, we don't have a brewery. Uh, even if we did have a brewery, which we are currently building, I don't think that people would actually be able to consume the ale. Also don't even have the mushrooms. Can pick a new blueprint, but I don't love that. Ranch uh, or an outfitter. Sure, we'll pick the outfitter. Okay. 
everyone is is yeah everyone is determined to leave which uh which is fine i mean it, it's kind of to be expected we still haven't we still haven't clothed everyone everyone is still naked bare naked but we're working on it we're gonna work on it i, I swear i'm gonna fix the i'm gonna fix the negative modifiers i didn't think that people would leave as fast as they have left one bad season and they and they start to despise me all right uh, sure. You know what? Give me road, road speed boosts. That's fine. Give me humans and lizards. And everything is still uncompleted. Okay. So this is the clearance, right? I say this is the clearance. Resolve is still pretty darned low. Very, very low, in fact. Like, really, really low. People are leaving in... People are leaving in spades. It's very, very worrying. Crude workstation. Are we not able to manufacture more rope? Please? Ah, what have we got here? Beaver house? Oh, we straight up just have a beaver house here. Fallen beaver woodcutter. Seeing fallen kinsmen. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. That's the, that's the problem. Okay. Uh, chest of coal. Yeah, that's why the, that's why the beavers have basically all left, is because... I didn't spot that... I didn't spot that there was a dead beaver corpse here. Basically, all of our beavers have gone. Alright, well, you know what? That's... That sucks. That sucks. Our woodcutters are, are now... Are now... Are now go bye-bye. But to be fair... Not much that we can really do about that. Okay, I hope that... I hope that the... Uh, hope that the, the beaver has been successfully I hope that the beaver has been uh, has been buried accordingly there's no point in building a brewery it, it really is a, a pointless endeavor at, at present I don't even think that it's necessarily worth doing much this year we need we need a farm honestly I mean it's all very well fact that we've got the opportunity to build a farm uh, to build farmland but uh, we don't have the opportunity to don't have the opportunity to do anything else with the farmlands right uh, should we try and clothe people we can certainly try humans 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 are the only ones left apparently there we go let's get some coats and if we get some coats then at least the negative uh, modifier is not going to hurt. There we go. Clothing. It's happening. Everyone's got housing. Services. I don't know. I don't know what a service is. It's a bit of a funny one, but uh, but hey ho, it's fine. Okay. It's time. It's time. It's time to make hay whilst the sun shines. What is this over here? That is actually not terrible. It's a trapper's camp. We do have a scavenger camp, don't we? May not have a scavenger camp, but we can build one. And uh, we also don't have any wood at the moment, which is highly embarrassing. Let's go. Let's go get some. Ah, there we go. A beaver. Perfect. The exact person that I was uh, that I was looking for. All right. So hopefully, hopefully we should now be reasonably back on track. Should allow us to make a little bit of progress. Do we have any parts actually? We have one part, but that is not very many parts. Dare I suggest that might be a problem. Right, traders left the village. No parts left. Uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping that we could maybe trade for some parts, but that kind of just passed me by. Oh, well. Okay, everyone is clothed. Everyone is housed. Strange lights. Gonna be gonna be coming online at some point very, very soon indeed. Queen's impatience is, uh, is increasing by the day. We need to discover another glade. Uh, you know what? I think it's time to do a little bit of extra exploration here. 
lumber camp. Get this moved over here. There we go. And let's continue to explore. Try and make it as quickly as possible, please. Okay. Trapper's camp. Uh, I don't think that we can actually trap anything else, he says. And then immediately fixes the problem. Uh, this trapper's camp can probably be deleted. Oh, no. Tell a lie. It cannot be deleted. We just need a person to work here. Which I will do. Okay. Resolve might dip, but if it does dip, it will not dip by very much. Lumber camp. Move this down here. We're ready to go. Okay. Still trying to find the perfect route through. Alright, we are still low on food, and that is still unbelievably concerning to me. Let's get, uh, what do we got? Two people working at the kiln? Not a big deal. Let's reassign them to trapper camps so that we can get more meats. So it is very, very important that we have as much meat as possible. Foragers camp. Uh, this can be moved, right? This should probably be moved somewhere. Although it doesn't really look like that's the case. Man, I still can't believe that we lost as many beavers as we did. It really sucks. Leftover crops from lower quality grain is put aside. Villager movement speed is increased by 10%. You're allowed to make use of royal mists. Uh, glades content is revealed, but every discovered glade increases in patience. Uh, I think I'm just going to take movement speed. Thanks, bud. Uh, give me some parts. A pack of crops. We're working on it. And we also need to get some small farms down. Do we have the option to build small farms? We, we don't. We do not. That's that's cool too, I guess. Uh, glades we can definitely do. Pack of fuel. Produced at the alchemist's hut or thatchery. Uh, I think that neither of those things is, is imminently doable. To be honest. Is there seriously nothing else that can be foraged right now? Seriously, there is nothing else. Alright, well, that, that sucks, I guess. Lumber camp. Uh, let's move the lumber camp down here. Let's get... Let's get three people assigned. And I'm going to keep a very, very close eye on this area now to make sure that... make sure that whatever the danger is, we're able to respond uh, near instantly. Okay, we got a brewery. I'm devastated that I've already built a brewery of my own. But I guess we can disassemble this one. Cool. What do we need? Five planks? There we go. Rewards, stone, and box of crystallized dew. Okay, nice. Don't bother with that then. Uh, let's move... This over here, through there. We can only really, we can only really complete missions by uh, by exploring glades right now. So, you know, why not go fast? Why not go fast? Why not indeed? All right, continue to trap, please. So that is another another reason why we are in the game right now. What is this? Scavenger camp. This is a forager camp, isn't it? Yeah, mushrooms, eggs, and reeds. And we have got none of those things. None of those things in sight. The stonecutter's camp. Uh, maybe that can be... Uh, it can be. Sure. That's good at least. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got? Okay. A lot of stuff happening. Small encampments. Vegetables. We have none of. Eggs, we have none of. We can give them... Oh, no, we can't give them anything. My bad. Berries, collected from a herbalist's camp. What is this thing here? Petrified tree. Ropes, sure. Let's give them ropes. Otherwise, we would get... Petrified tree is radiating sickness to the entire forest. Tree cutting speed is lowered. 
Uh, I'd rather not have that. We're going to get wood, stone, and also roots. It's kind of nice. And then we've got this here as well, which... Yeah, I guess planks are fine. Quite happy to move that across. And what do you know? A strange device left behind by the great civilization. When soaked in rainwater, it radiates warm light and brings encouragement. Plus three to global resolve. Excellent. That's grand. That's excellent. That's really, really good, in fact. And maybe we get a farm? No, but we do get a tavern. Yes. I am very, very interested in the tavern. So that's going to increase... That's going to increase global resolve almost certainly. Yeah, that's that's real good. That's real good, in fact. We just need more people now, right? Also, we got a supply cache here. Uh, do we have the tools? We don't have the tools. But that is a lot of good stuff right there. At least we know about it, right? At least we know about it. Small encampment, again, you know, we'd, we'd love to... Love to actually do something about that, but apparently we've just not got the option to... Not got the option to find any... Any freaking, uh, any freaking mushrooms. Just one singular mushroom would be... Be excellent. It was that, it was that beaver, it was that beaver, that dead beaver that really uh, did it for me. What the heck is this? It's a little puddle. Okay. Uh, we need tools, if it's all possible, please. Small press. Useful mill upgrades? No, I'll take, I'll take 15 tools if I can. I'll give you all my amber. That seems to go a decent chunk of the way. Pack of building materials. And some wood. Nice, now we're talking. All right, let's do it. Okay, so that's so that's pretty decent. That allows us to properly leverage the tools that we have here, uh, which we can't do because we don't have we don't have people spare. Services. I, I really have no idea what what we need to do with services, but uh, oh, I'm gonna get some beavers. Desperately in need of some beavers. Desperately in need of farms as well. Can you believe that? I hope that we don't unlock the farm by, uh... Yeah, it requires a small farm, plantation, or farm nearby to produce crops. Yeah, we have none of those things. Right, speaking of... Pack of crops. Roots. Yeah, we can... We can do that. What do we need to crank it up to? 12? Sure, we'll crank it up to 12. Scavenger camp. We'll get ourselves... One of those, one of those. So that at least gives us reeds, and that also gives us vegetables, which is kind of 50% of the requirement for for what we need. Uh, trapper camp. Forager's camp. Forager's camp is, it would be so useful if we had it, if we just had access to some of them, but uh, unfortunately not. Herbalist's camp. Right, I do need to keep... I really sincerely need to keep an eye on... Uh, on what's going on here. Because it, it can get... It can get messy. Let's get you... Send to the... Send to the Citadel. Reputation. I kind of feel like reputation might actually be... More valuable than some of this stuff here. So I'll do that. Sure. Tools for reputation. Doesn't sound like a great deal, but... We'll do it nonetheless. Trade goods, fuel, valuable. All of this stuff is kind of pretty advanced. What did I unlock? What did I unlock and where? Uh, lizard people. Sure. Do I care about more people? I don't think that I actually care about more people. I think that we just want to try and put the, the queen off executing me. Yeah, let's let's see if we can try and sustain our sustain our execution for a little while longer. Everyone is suffering like really 
really negative modifiers right now. Uh, I'm, I'm seriously trying, but... There's nothing much that we can do. The tavern. Let's get a tavern sorted out. Let's get you in the tavern. So we have ale, right? Uh, we do not have ale. Okay, mushroom ale. Don't have mushroom ale. We'll make root ale, I guess. Uh, can't make berry wine either. We can make insect. Did we have uh, stardew? No, we don't. We don't have the ability to make... We don't have the ability to make any of this. The roots... The roots we do have. We, we absolutely do have roots, but not in a huge quantity. It's a very, very limited quantity. Okay, the trapper's camp has finally had enough. Send you down here. This might be a bad time for us. This might be this might be a really bad time for us. Clothing, housing. Yeah, we're we're fine. Fine for clothing, fine for housing. Okay. Yeah, we need more food. We need more food. Fallen lizard warriors. Oh, it had to be. It had to be this, didn't it? Uh Sure, go take jerky. This is going to absolutely destroy the, the lizard morale, isn't it? Pretty certain that it is. There we go. Get that done. Get that done. We really do not need the, the negative modifier here. Could quite nicely do without that. Is that mushrooms, by the way? Oh, we're saved. We're saved. We're saved. We're saved. Forager's camp. At long last. It only took half the freaking game, but we got there. All right. Go forage for some mushrooms, please. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Uh, you made some promises. Uh, you better keep believing the queen's impatience grows twice faster, but one of reputation removes one of impatience uh 30 pieces of meat every time a villager dies or leaves you know what screw it uh, we're we're in for a penny in for a pound we're we're trying to we're trying to stave off all of the bad stuff from happening but uh but frankly it's it's not it's not going well it is not going well we need to get a farm we really do need to get a farm jerky i mean can we even make jerky I've really sort of optimized for, like, early game. Early game buildings, and, uh... I guess we can make this. I haven't made this yet. Everything else we have. Food we're finally starting to get on top of. Especially now that we've got the foragers camp. We're going to be able to get the brewery up and running, right? Uh, we're actually technically already brewing ale from roots. Somewhat remarkable. I guess we'll brew... I guess we'll brew some, some shroom wine. And the outfitter, let's get... Yeah. Let's get the trade goods. Pack of trade goods, we'll do some barrels. We can absolutely do that. Pack of valuables crystallized Jew. There's no reason why we need to worry about that. I mean, we just need loads and loads of trade goods, right? Yeah, let's let's double up our employment here. Let's get a lizard. Let's get a let's get a human person. Plus 5 to resolve for both of the humans. That's that's cracking. Let's go. This might this might actually be our way back in. I'm I'm doubtful. I'm very very doubtful purely because uh purely because the queen is not satisfied with our efforts but to be honest i think that that was a pretty i think that was a pretty darn good uh darn good attempt uh there should be a few things waiting for us at the citadel if i'm not mistaken not to mention the fact that our experience has uh has has increased a little bit uh what did we learn from that attempt um well it's uh it's it's good it's a good game thank you for playing the demo of against the storm the blight storm is coming the state of the world map will be reset and only your upgrades in the citadel will remain uh, do you want to continue? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. 
Uh, so do we get to we get to play more? I take it. I don't know. Either way, I, I like this idea. I like this idea of uh, of a whole you know like resetting resetting map each and every time, like a, a city builder that sort of keeps keeps you keeps you on your toes. Uh, that makes you pick your upgrades and make sure that everything stays fresh. The question is, of course, how long will everything stay fresh? I, I have no idea. You know, once you've built one city, maybe you've built them all. I'm I'm really, really not sure. We'll have to find out when the game actually releases, I think, at some point next year. Uh, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for uh, for the support over on the Patreon page. Patreon.com if uh, if you're interested in, in helping out. Forward slash show, but a potato. Thanks to Banana Nana Nana and Aurelio from the $225 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.